Okay, so like, this is gonna be a short stream. I also have food in here, and I didn't realize that my my food is gonna make my boots smell. So that was kind of an oversight. <laughs> I'm kind of dumb, but it's really good. Oh my god, my sister made me like these uh, Korean pancakes with egg in the middle and like a uh, cupy mayo and chili oil on top. So good. Oh, it's delicious. Oh my god. Such good food. I can't even see chat right now, but thanks guys for everything. Alright. Cool. Um, uh, I'm gonna say hi to ch like, say hi to you guys real quick, and then I'm gonna go do the thingy. Um, hello. So I have 30 minutes. Haha, <laughs> June, what up, June? How you doing, dude? Um, I have 30 minutes. I'm gonna just do what I normally do, which is I just love analyzing voiceover like crazy. I'm not gonna analyze English, because that's not fair. That's bias. So I'm gonna analyze everybody else. I'm not ignoring chat. I'll probably take a look later. I mean, hey, Leju, you could pop into chat and tell me what chat is, or you could pop into the voiceover chat and just tell me what chat is saying too if you want. You could be my assistant, but again, you're doing whatever you want. I'm just cool with it. Okay, cool. Let's go do the thing. All right. So first, first we got Japanese Toma. Let's take a listen. Yeah, いいえの姉子。松草びれてたところだよ。それと最近知り合った商売仲間だ。よ。君たちに会えることをずっと楽しみにしてたよ。トマ、この二人は紹介はいらない。異教の旅人の名声は外界の荒らしだろうと防げないからね。とっくに耳に入ってるよ。嬉し
<laughs> like that kind of read, like in the in terms of the internals, he's kind of he almost sounds like he has his hands in his pockets and he's just like, <laughs> man, about time you came. Like that kind of feel, and it's like, yo, that's sick. Like that sounds so good. Um, and I'm not even gonna talk about the intricacies of Japanese because one, I am not fluent in it. I'm more talking about it from an intent perspective as an actor. Because actors were able to communicate all kinds of intent without saying a single word that makes sense. So, um, yeah, with that in mind, like, dude, that is just, it tells everything about his character already. He's smooth, he's suave, he has a little bit of a mysterious side, and above anything, he's confident. That first line tells all of that. And then, one of the things that really helps define him as well is, um, this line right here. <laughs> So like that line right there, I said it completely differently because I took advantage of the fact that Toma is so excited for the traveler to come over. It's like, I've heard so much about you. For him, he didn't take ad advantage of the excitement. He took advantage of the scene playing out as, as, dude, he's confident. He's like, no, I know exactly who you are. Like, your reputation is amazing. And I know what you've been doing. Like that kind of feel where he's like confident and has that kind of stance where he's like, yeah, I knew you were coming. Yeah. So, laid it up so well. Um, it creates a little bit of like, ooh, okay, what's this guy's deal? What kind of information network he has? So, it's not wrong. It's not correct. It's just his interpretation and it's amazing. So then, after that, one other thing I really love is his laugh that he does. <laughs> Where's, uh, right here. <laughs> I don't know, um, I don't know how he wanted to approach it, the fact, but the fact that he went, <laughs> like, it's like, it fits that confident vibe that he has, and I'm like, I love that, <laughs> it sounds so good, um, yeah, so that's why I think Japanese dumb was, like, very ikemen, very confident, very kind of smooth guy about it, it works, and it's fantastic, and I love it, and, like, with, with some of the ways he interprets Toma, I'm like, Man, why didn't I think of that? So, he good. Alright, so let's take a listen to the Chinese Toma. Also, I'm gonna take a look at that, so like, I'm not completely... You guys, ooh, I clicked too far. Um, yeah. So, I love that. This is fun. Oh, and there's chat. Oh, thank you, my mods, for helping me out. This is great. And by the way, uh, this is me not bashing on myself. Like, I know my interpretation, and I like my interpretation, does not mean I'm discrediting myself to any other VAs. All of us perform Toma to what we felt is correct. So, yeah, just just saying. Chinese Toma. Chinese <laughs> 但还是耽误了些时间 哦, 托马在离岛混迹了很长一段时间了<笑> 不管你在到期遇上什么惊涛骇浪<笑> 所以,我们要规规矩矩的,把不规矩的事给办了。God, he's so friendly. He's so darn friendly. I love how friendly he is. He's so damn friendly. Um, like, 
to me personally, the way I kind of saw this and like how it played out, um, this guy, Chinese Toma is is very direct, very straightforward, but he's like very kind. I almost want to think of it like, um, have you ever met someone in like a formal kind of position? And like almost like a soldier. He feels like a very kind soldier or like a in a position of power where everything he says, it's to the point, it's direct, but it has a kind smile behind it where he's just like, yeah, like, dude, listen, I'm happy to help, but this is what we need to do. And you're like, okay, yeah, that's cool. That's perfectly fine. Uh, he's just so straightforward about it. And, you know, uh, I had to ask one of my friends, Lei Zhu, who plays in Chinese, like, hey, dude, like, what's the typical Chinese acting style? And he did tell me it's like a weird mixture. It's like, it's not necessarily the C-drama type. I, I personally, from this scene, it felt very realistic to me. It felt like just people having a normal conversation. Uh, it felt like something you would hear on an everyday basis. Uh, Lei Zhu, if you want to correct me on that, please do. But for me personally, it felt really realistic. It was oh, very grounded I'm here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's up, Leiju? Uh, yeah. I, I, uh, just like, I'll give a quick note since I yeah. Continue, go ahead. Like, I, just, I, I will say I really like the Tomo voice in Chinese. Uh, yeah, it's, it's great. Like one of the best Chinese voices, I would say. Dude, uh, yeah, he is so good. Like, it's so subtly all the notes and accents that he does is really subtle. It's so good. Yeah, I will say though, uh, his voice often given to like characters who. Uh, like seem friendly but like definitely know more than you but like try to act like they're like on the same level yeah <laughs> so it's like already when i hear his voice even without knowing his character i know he's like probably way more powerful than me <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's like, I... he has like a weird like playful tone that you only get when you are like way above somebody but you're, yeah like, trying to seem like their level yeah 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 i get that um it's not condescending. It's a very, like, friendly playfulness. Yeah, I get I'm that. I'm just here to have a good time. Yeah, that's what I get. And, like, yeah, that's actually that's a, that's a really good way to kind of uh, summarize how I feel about it. Because especially when you hear this first line, you know, versus the Japanese, where he's kind of like, Yeah, man, what's up? You finally made it. This guy's a little bit more like this. It's, like, very, like, yeah, you finally made it. Like, you know, like, you know, about, like, you showed up. Cool, let's get going. He's, like, all about the business. Yeah, so. I will say he's, like, less excitable. Yeah. And, like, more in control. Yeah, he's he does, like, he maintains that position that he has, that really important position in the Kamisato household. So he's very refined about it. But he also just has such a wholesome charm to him that, like, he gets that youth. He, like, regardless if he's in a position, he's got that youth to him. And it just sounds so good. And the one thing that sold me on him was his damn laugh. His laugh was so good. I heard that laugh, and I was like, dude, I wish I did it that well. Like, right here. Uh, that's like, oh, you already know all the time stamps. <laughs> yeah, that laugh, because like, <laughs> like, it was so good. I was like, dude, damn, that was solid. He's so good. I love him. Um, Thanks, Leiju. I appreciate that. Yeah, and now I'm out. Oh, yeah, peace, dude. Uh, yeah, that was Leiju Shen. He's a VTuber. He's fantastic. If we could give him a shout-out, that'd be great. Yeah, oh my god. Chinese Toma. I love him. He's so good. All right, so let's let's listen to uh, Korean Toma. Jun Yoon, he, he could also provide some feedback on this because he knows the intricacies in the language, which I don't. I'm only going for intent. Commercial break! Woo! This commercial is brought to you by my Streamily.com page. That's right, I have a Streamily page where I'm selling prints! I have never really sold prints before, so this is really exciting for me. I've already sold quite a few on my first day, which is, like, actually really awesome. I can't believe I reached that number. Pretty insane. Um, but yeah, please feel free to visit my shop at Streamily.com forward slash Christian Bannis so that you could buy some prints. I mean, look at these prints. We got the Burning Heart by Mount Expuela. We got the Home One by Calward. We got Ahoy There by the famous Helion White. And I even have bundles. If you buy one, it's $30. If you buy two, it's $50. If you buy all three, it's $75. Dude, that's like crazy discounts. So like, yeah, if you could, I would really love the support. You don't have to buy them. You really don't. My shop is going to be open until November 6th. So feel free to like 
take your time, and really, you know, come out and help support. I will be signing these on stream. I will be updating if the date changes, which it probably will because I'm very unorganized. So, yes, please, you know, if you could support it, that'd be great. If you can't, I totally get it and understand. Let's go back to me freaking out about voiceovers with Toma. ドリオ職人、リオリンデレンドニン。엄청기다렸다고요。그건 벌써 익히 들었어요. <웃음> 말을 참 예쁘게 하네. 응, 차라리 잘 됐네. 토마는 이도에서 오래 지냈으니 이 구역에서 꽤잘 나가는 유명인 인셈이지. 문제가 생기면 토마를 찾아가. 하지만 이 녀석이 널 해코지하면 내가 다음에 이나지마에 올때 혼내줄게. <웃음> 걱정 마세요. 우린 꽤잘 지낼 수 있을 것 같거든요. 슬슬 가야겠네. 내 배에 지명수배범도 하나 숨어 있어서 여기 오래 못 있어. 으이, 가자 말하는 거지. 또 보자고 여행자. 이나즈마에서 어떤 풍파를 만나든 잘 견뎌내야 해. 북두 선장 안녕 조심히 가. 그럼 검문소로 가서 등록부터 할까? 이 이나즈마 공무원을. 만나러 간다고? 뭐, 몰래 다녀야 하는 거 아니야? <웃음> 최궁령을 우습게 보지 마. 신분 확인을 피할 순 없어. 그러니까 규정에 따라서 규정에 맞지 않는 일을 하는 거지. I love, dude. Okay, this guy's a veteran actor. You could tell. You could tell by the control that he has over everything. Every meticulous, subtle detail is so well crafted. Whether it's consciously or subconsciously, I don't know, and I don't like. I really can't speak to that because I'm not him. But it is so well detailed, starting from here. 드디어 오셨군요, 리오린들의 누님. 엄청 기다렸다고요. 게다가 미립국 손님 아니 귀한 손님들까지. Oh my God! Like when he when he gets to that part at the very end, the tail end, he adds that little bit of like a cheeky smile, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> He he really took advantage of the fact that uh Toma's a Toma's an attractive man, but he's also in a position of power. And it was like, whoa, whoa. Um yeah, the Korean voice actor is fantastic. Those little subtleties are what breathe so much life into him. Because like, you know, naturally, especially with anime, you're used to hearing a lot bigger reactions, you know. When you listen to Japanese anime, um a lot of people you know, a lot of westernized uh countries hear it and because it's a different language they get that magical sense of another language so they don't really understand what it feels like for a native speaker but when you actually speak to japanese people they understand that anime is a little bit more magical realism in comparison to a natural subtle type of acting so in this case with the korean i may be getting a little bit of the magical realism in regards to me not understanding korean because it's a melodic language however the intent is still there with subtle like intricacies where it's like that little like <laughs> honored guest. It's like whoa, okay. Um, it is so subtle and it's so supreme. It's like wow, okay. Uh, he's you know like that would make a little bit of Korean like like if I was like if I was a Korean speaker, I probably would have blushed at that point. Uh, it was really good. <laughs> I still like had a blush at that point. I'm like whoa, okay, what's up, dude? <laughs> it is so good. Um, yes, he sounds fantastic. The laugh, the Korean voice actor totally did the same laugh that I did. Um, that. 문제가 생기면 토마를 찾아가. 이나즈마에 올때 혼내줄게. <웃음> 걱정 마세요. 우린 꽤잘 지낼 수 있을 것 같거든요. I don't know what his intent was, nor am I going to speak for him. But for me as an actor, when I got to that like laugh part, I was kind of interpreting it as just like a little friendly chuckle during like a normal conversation. So that's what I feel like he did. It was so good. Um, he's much more composed compared to me. He's very matter of the fact. Uh, his interpretation is like, look, I've been around the park before. I know exactly what I need to do. Just listen to me, and we're perfectly fine. 
and he's just got that cool, calm presence, where it feels a little bit of like that older brother kind of feel. And he does it at such a really well-refined level that, man, it's like, <laughs> he gets to that level like, damn, he's going to steal your girl at this point, <laughs> you know? He's so good. He's so, so good. He's probably like, the Japanese actor and the Korean actor are definitely the more tenured ones because there's such a level of refinement to their acting that it's just so good. It, it's fantastic. Um, I, I, I love both of them. It's so good. Um, who's the biggest Toma fan? Easy, Toma. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, what up, Corey? Sorry, I wasn't looking at chat because, um, I was just analyzing. I'm in my booth, so I only have one screen in my booth. Uh, so, also, can I just say, there was a really adorable Paimon line from the Korean Paimon. Uh, I noticed it and I was like, wow, this is so good. Um, where is it at? Here? Not that one. That's just the shush. Whoa, I sounds like I got bits or something. I'll definitely take a look. Oh, right here. This line. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. That's like ah um, it's so good. And by the way, Beto in every language sounds amazing too. <laughs> I love all the Betos. Um in Korean. Mm, Beto in that vocal rasp that you get, it's like, dude, it's so good. It, it, this is like an older brother, older sister kind of vibe that I get from these two. And it just works so damn well. Like, I absolutely love it. Yo, thank you so much for the 50 bits. And wow, a hype train already? And Shuru with the 100 bits. Holy crapsicles. That's really awesome. Um, Yeah. Dude, Paimon in all languages is freaking pog it is so good um and then like let's just listen to like there's another one um sorry if it sounds like i'm away from my microphone i'm on i'm at my keyboard and i put my bowl down that i have my food it was really good oh my all languages um this one i'll i'll, I'll skip mine of course but like let's listen to chinese first <laughs> Dude, like just the way he did those attack moves, again, it fits the character that he established. It's very direct, no BS, no fluff, it's just exactly what it needs to be. And he's doing it with the smile. It's like, dude, that's so good. Then I'm gonna skip English. And then I believe Japanese should be right here. Again, it's with the established character that he has. It sounds like, you know, when he tells him to back off, I, I mean, I don't know exactly what they're saying in Japanese, but for my line, it's like, you know, it's back off, basically. Um, it sounded so suave and so cool. I was like, man, that's so awesome. <laughs> It's like he's so confident in his skills and like he's just he's just having a good time while looking good while doing it. That's Japanese Toma. Alright, and then we got Korean Toma, right? Oh, I love how he says that. I don't know exactly what he says, but the melody of like, ba -da -ba -da, it just sounds so good. I'm like, yo, uh, again, with the established character, he's a little playful, he's confident, and like, you know, he's really good with his skills. I love it. It just sounds so damn good. <laughs> I'm like, man, all these tomas are pog, dude. It just sounds so good. Um, dude, Korean toma, man. Korean toma fire. <laughs> I, I love this. It's, like, so good. I could talk about voiceover for hours, dude. Just, like, hours upon hours. Now, if you want to see how I would analyze my own things, like, here, we'll, we'll, we'll listen to how I establish the character first, right? So, this is how I establish the character. 
Uh, let's let's go to English, I guess. Uh, this is me. So you finally made it. You sure kept me waiting, Captain. And it appears we have a couple of stowaways, or perhaps I should say, honored guests. Shush! You can blame your almighty shogun. The tempests around Inazuma have been growing all the more fierce lately. Though the fleet was fully up to the challenge, the inclement weather still caused some delay. Now then, let me introduce everyone. This is Toma, a trade partner that I've gotten to know recently. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to see you. Toma, these two are... Oh, no need for introductions. Their reputation precedes them. It seems even the stormy seas can't keep rumors of these outlander's sterling deeds at bay. <laughs> oh, it's sure nice to hear you say that. <laughs> With any luck, it'll give you a head start here. Toma's resided on Rito for quite some time now. It wouldn't be going too far to say he's the fixer around these parts. If you run into any problems here, just talk to Toma. But if he tries to pull any moves on you, I'll be sure to deal with him personally the next time I'm around. <laughs> no need to worry. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Good. Then if it's all settled, I'll be going. I wouldn't want to be caught with my sails down here. I do have a wanted fugitive on board, after all. Oh, right. Kazuha. Until next time, traveler. Remember to give it your all, no matter what perilous storms you may encounter. Fair seas, Captain Beto! Bye-bye! Now then, first things first. We need to go get you registered at the border checkpoint. Um, Paimon thought we were supposed to be keeping things on the down low. Are we just gonna walk into the government's hands? <laughs> Don't underestimate the reaches of the Sokoku Decree. You wouldn't be able to avoid inspection even if you tried. So we have to play by the rules, even if we're kind of bending them. So my approach on Toma is so different because I don't have the composure and the experience and skill that the other ones do. So I had to play to my strengths. And my strengths are, I have a very wholesome kind of dog-like energy where it's like, you know, I'm very like ready to go. I'm like happy to like be there. And you could really tell the difference in the Toma interpretation once you got to uh, this line here. No need for introductions. Their reputation precedes them. It seems even the stormy seas can't keep rumors of these outlanders' sterling deeds at bay. So there's so many different interpretations of this one line, and none of them are incorrect. My interpretation is the fact that I'm meeting these people that can help change our world for the first time. I am so excited, like, I want to, like, them to know how excited I feel. That was my interpretation on it. So, you see how different it is, and how these lines were so crucial in establishing the character for each one, because then you will see that uh, come into play once we play the rest of the Tomas. So, you saw how Chinese Toma was very direct, very wholesome. Japanese Toma is very hot and suave. Korean Toma is very, I'm gonna steal your girl, and also very composed. And then English Toma is very bright, very fun, very friendly. Think of like the dorky older brother. So, when you actually take a look at the Toma for this one... Where are we headed this time? Don't get too close! Here's Becca! See, if there's something that I do different from the other Tomas, is that the other Tomas are so well composed for Tomas, like, you know, for how Toma is. I take advantage a lot of the youthfulness and the kind of bright energy that only I have. So, I use that. Or Toma. Like, in fact, when you hear me do my battle attacks, some people says it kind of sounds like Power Ranger stuff, which, a little bit. <laughs> but it's just like, you know, he's he's excited to fight, he's excited to help, he's excited to play his part. That's where I kind of bring up that kind of Toma. So, there's really different aspects that we all bring up. And that's why when people say, I prefer this Toma, I go, yo, you completely valid. Like, that makes total sense. So, yeah. 
Uh, it all makes sense. That's like, literally, I love all the Tomas. They're really good. I could analyze voiceover for hours. My friends know this. So, and again, this is me not trying to find compliments. No, this is like just me analyzing it. And the fact that I also play Toma is just, it's just different, you know? Blaze, you shut up. <laughs> yeah, I could talk about it for days. Um, actual days. Yeah, locks too. Yeah, they're my friends. They're, uh, they're all about my stuff. Yeah, you know, each voice actor has brought out their own things. And one of the reasons why I wanted to bring this up is because if you like a certain Toma, it's totally cool. You don't have to like me. I don't, like, honestly, like, I don't personally mind if you don't like me. Like, it's just, it is what it is. It, you know, other people like other interpretations. That's fine. We live in a big enough world where you don't gotta like me and all that stuff. Like, I, I saw the live stream things, and it's like, yeah, you know, don't bash on the VAs. I don't want to be put on a positive, like, pedestal like that as well. My interpretation of Toma is just an interpretation. It's not perfect. And the same thing with everybody else. Everybody's got good things. Everybody's got bad things. So it is what it is. And you can tell by how energetic I am how much I really love talking about voiceover. It's amazing. So, yeah. It's just so different. And, like, if if we could have discussions about voiceover like this, rather than being like, Japanese is the original language, blah, blah, blah. It's like, first off, it's not. But second, you know, what's your reasoning for it? If you could have, like, a reasoning for it, that's cool. Like, I love it. You know, I watch Japanese anime primarily. Like, I do watch English dubs. So, and, you know, there are things where I'm starting to watch in Korean now because, oh, my God. Korean dubbing is pog. Yo, Korean dubbing? They got some of the best sounding dubs. Like, dude, it's so melodic. Wow, it's really good. <laughs> Shut up, Lux. <laughs> uh, yeah, again, localization is amazing because you get to hear, like, different interpretations of the same character. And, bro, it's so cool. Like, I'm down to do this for, like, all the other characters. Like, it's cool. It's fun. I just love analyzing voiceover. You know, me and Alejandro Saab, like, we could go on and on about dubs, and it's just really fun. I really wish that, like, there could be days where, like, I could I could listen to, um, you know, like, Japanese Toma and see how it interacts with, like, English Paimon, you know? I'm curious. I want to try to mix those. It'd be so interesting. And... Oh, MiHoYo is a Tome game, Tears of Themis. I need to play that. I just want to listen to more good voiceover. Like, if you guys want to hear some good, like, English voiceover dub anime, I will tell you which ones I think are amazing. Like, Your Lie in April has one of the best English dubs of anime of all time. That English dub was so damn good. Like, the Your Lie in April English dub, no one listened to me for that one. And I would say that one is so good like erica lindbeck plays Kauri, and she's fantastic she steals the show anytime erica lindbeck talks as Kauri, it is just attention grabbing it is so good and then max middleman as kosei has the perfect dynamic to play across uh erica lindbeck so good um yeah and then erica mendez plays uh Subaki, which is like a really good trope for her. Like, it works so perfectly well. Um, there's other really good English dubs, like the Kill a Kill English dub. I know Kill a Kill's not for everybody, but that English dub for Kill a Kill, oh, jeez, that was so good. It knew what it was. It was so great. Um, what's another English dub that I really love? Uh, there's this, okay, so there's this anime that, like, wasn't too popular, but it was called A Lull in the Sea. And the English dub for that one went so damn hard. It didn't need to go that hard, but it went hard. Oh my god, a lull in the sea. Nagino Asakura? Yeah, dude. Oh, the English dub is phenomenal. It is so good. Um, I love that one. And then you go, you got like a bunch of the old school ones. Like you got uh you got Yu Yu Hakusho. That dub is fire. Everybody loves uh why, don't, why am I forgetting the name right now? They're literally making a live action of it. Cowboy Bebop. That one is so good. Oh, and <laughs> Lux. The shout out for Fate Grand Order Babylonia Episode Zero dub. That episode in particular is the best English dubbing I have heard from something in a long time. Because it's like Xander Mobus and Chris Hackney just giving us exposition. And it's just so good. 
it is phenomenal how good that is. <laughs> like, that dub, oh, it's so great. To, so, like, you know, like, there's so many dubs, and I'm so glad you guys are pointing it out. Explore more of them, and explore them in so many different languages. You'll find good things that you like, you'll find things that you hate, and that's perfectly fine. You're valid. Just don't be a dick about how valid you are. So, oh god, Code Geass dub? Bruh! Like, Code Geass dub is fire. Like, yo, that one is so good. Oh, if you guys can, watch the Summer Wars English dub. Yo, Summer Wars English dub is so good. <laughs> I love that one. Oh man. Like, that'd be great. Dude, the Code Geass dub with freaking Yuri Lowenthal. And, oh my god, he just sounds so good. Oh, oh, um, there are some standout performances from, um, from the Gurren Lagann dub. And, because I was going to say, Yuri Lowenthal's so good in that, man. Like, I, I, I model a lot of my high register after Yuri Lowenthal because of Gurren Lagann. When he plays Simone, he goes like, big bro, what, why? You, you know, like that kind of deal? It's so good. I love that one. Hey, I'll see you later, Lini. Um, I'm actually going to be moving the party elsewhere. Dude, I love Ride Your Wave. I watch Ride Your Wave in Japanese first, and I love Ride Your Wave. Oh my god! I love Ride Your Wave. It's so good. Um, yeah, guys, like, again, dubs are fantastic, but feel free to explore other languages. Like, please, please do it. You know, I, me as an American, we're not very exposed to other languages in the world, so the fact that, like, you could... You could watch so many different languages, you could learn so much, and it opens up your perspective on all these fun things. Um, I don't know if there's going to be other languages for dubs for video games. You know, it, when you do the Paimon surveys, ask for it. You know, the more people ask for it, the more they'll be inclined to eventually do it. So, you know, who knows? Um, I, well, not even just dubs. I love every language in general because there's always something good you can find. Like, it's crazy. You know, I used to work, I still work in production for dubs, where I help dubs produce all over the world. So it's really fun. Um, it's amazing. I could talk about it forever, but I gotta get back to work. <laughs> I got a ton of things I need to finish before tomorrow. I hope you guys really like that. We're gonna raid somebody. Let's go find who we're gonna raid. Uh, TV. Let's see who we raid in. Um, we're gonna raid Laurier. Just because we can and I want to. Okay. So, uh, we're gonna raid her. Tell her Christian Banner says hi. It's fantastic. Thank you guys for stopping by for my little fun video essay. Uh, raid. Have fun. Tell her Christian says hi. Thank you guys. That was a lot of fun. Thank you for listening to me ramble. I love rambling. Rambling's fun. <laughs> Alright, later guys.